Hey guys, I'm Tefel and welcome in this next Unreal Engine 4 video. This time we'll be looking into mission and objective update because many of you guys were really active in Discord channel uh, and support thread suggesting so many improvements to this plugin. So I picked a few, the best and implemented. So here it is. So uh, first of all, we have this main menu where you can select uh, any of the missions. Uh, you can start uh, first mission, uh, for example, and as you may notice on the left bottom corner, uh, there is already like tooltip uh, M to toggle mission lock, F7 to save the game, and F10 back to main menu. Then when I uh, start doing missions on the right side, you have also indicated how many objectives you did. So I'm collecting cows. It's one from four. It's on the right side two from four and when I land on the landing zone there will be success so now I can save the game and when I press F10 I will come back to my mission and objectives uh, ma main menu so when I press load the state I should get exactly the same like success I collected two cows uh, I landed on the landing zone also my uh, my history should be recovered, so it took me 34 seconds to finish this mission. Okay, so uh, what next? I can simply jump into the into the project, save game, uh, and I can just remove this one, and we can come back to the editor. So as you can see, now it is showing, hey, I don't have the save game, I don't have this save game, so you need to start the game and do everything uh, once again. So when I go uh, and I collect, let's say, two cows, or three maybe this time, uh, and save the game, but instead of uh, going back to menu, I will just close the editor uh, just to show you uh, that nothing is held in memory and no states are basically saved and I will just play back and as you can see this save game uh, was found and I can just load this simple like this and you can see I have three collected for four so I will just finish it collecting four and as you can see uh, state of uh, all the actors is not saved into the save game but you can do this on your own adding additional data and marking them as save game Okay, so this is second mission, it's much uh, simpler, so it's the same uh, basically principle. So F7 I can save the game, I have one uh, star collected, and when I just quit and play and load the game, I have still one star collected. So now I can collect uh, three coins, maybe uh, press F7, go back to the main menu, load the game, and now I have left one star I collect and mission is successful and F7 let's go back play and now should be success exactly uh, everything is working as intended as you can see the so last thing uh, what I would like to show you is just how it works in the shipping build because it's quite important to work also in the shipping build so let's jump there okay so I created shipping build uh, just uh, packaging project Windows 64 and here it is uh, so mission objective project exe I will execute it will open our uh, mission second window oh yeah uh, by default there is no save game as well so I can just create new one Pick one star and now I need to close this and you will see that I have save game right here so I can just play once again and I should be able to load this game and I have one star collected I will collect the second star and if I collect the third one it will do nothing because I have collected already two of two so this objective is completed even if I do some extra things like collecting those coins now saving going back loading the state and collecting extra things doing now nothing because it's already completed
even if I have one objective not completed, it will also do nothing because now whole mission is succeeded. So it's uh, really well protected. Okay, so that would be everything for uh, this uh, update. Hopefully you like this. Uh, hopefully you like uh, how serialization data works, how it is uh, implemented because it's using a data serializer, memory reader, memory writer. Uh, we can quickly jump into the mission. If you are familiar with code, you, you may notice some uh, of things. So here I define my use struct and here I'm saving uh, or defining operator for uh, archive, which is saving my data. And I'm doing the same for my mission save game. And I'm just iterating through all the nodes, all the missions and uh, saving there. So every single information about the mission is saved. Okay, so that's everything for now. Uh, next time I will show you how to extend uh, this plugin and save additional data um, for spawning characters, uh, objects, uh, actors or not, if they are picked already. So it will uh, fully reflect uh, every single map uh, state, not only uh, save game state. Please leave a comment about plugin feature improvements or channel improvements. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed uh, this video and subscribe if you like uh, my content on this channel. And of course, uh, see you next time.